remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This is an article that I saw on Yahoo. I'm going to read you excerpts of it as is. Jazz Jennings is stepping into 2020 by embracing who she is and the journey that it took for her to get here by sharing a photo of herself in a swimsuit that shows off scars from her gender confirmation surgery. The 19-year-old reality star and transgender activist referenced her battle wounds in an Instagram post on Wednesday where she had the upper thigh scars on full display for the first time since her 2018 surgery. Jennings has documented her life and gender transition in front of the camera for the TLC series, I Am Jazz, since 2015. In the show's fifth season, she even lets the audience in on the biggest surgery of her life. I'm proud of my scars and love my body the way it is, she wrote. I call them my battle wounds because they signify the strength and perseverance it took to finally complete my transition. I'm proud of my scars and love my body just the way it is. So why change? Listen, I am a true believer in people doing what makes them happy short of hurting others. But I'm also a realist. You know, we got to call things what they are. You know, trying to use this like Jedi mind game on the people and start trying to, you know, tell somebody that he is a she and she is a he. You know, you're trying to confuse us. We like, we know what it is. And listen, I'm not even trying to bash anybody. I'm just talking facts. These are scientific facts. Because listen here, there are others who don't get surgeries to change their sex, so to speak. Some people get surgery to remove a mole or a birthmark. Some people get surgery to remove uh, fat. Some people get surgery to even out a leg or an arm or things like that. You know, some people were born without a hand. They get surgery to, to have their arms extended and stuff like that. And so if it makes them happy, then... I'm really not against it, you know. I, I, I just, I'm, if, if, if it's something that makes somebody happy and they want to do for themselves to make them feel better about themselves, that's fine. But don't try to trick the rest of us, you know, because I thought it was called gender reassignment. Now they're calling it confirmation. Ah, uh, no. Let's talk about the people who have gotten these so-called reassignments or confirmations and had to get them reversed, who wanted them reversed because they were so depressed. The people who committed suicide after changing their gender because they were so depressed. Let's look at those numbers. Let's talk about some of those cases these are not the cases that mainstream media want you to hear about because they really do have an agenda. Gender confirmation. No. You got male. You got female. That's just the way it is, y'all. You got male and you got female. This ain't me trying to make up something and this ain't my personal feelings this is scientific facts this is as scientific as you know the whole h2o theory you know this is as scientific as 
oxygen. You know, you know what happens when you climb inside of a, a shower and then get out? How your body changes, you know, why you're so cold when you get out of the shower, you know? This is scientific. It's not my personal opinions. So you're not going to try to, you're not going to be able to get over on me with that. Let's call it what it is. It's not gender reassignment. It's not gender confirmation. This is cosmetic surgery. Just like any other type of surgeries that people do. Anytime you go put a knife on your body, you're having surgery. And you, you're putting a knife on your body to improve your, you know, what you look like, you know. You're, you're talking about cosmetic surgery. That's what it is. I'm from the hood. I've dished out a lot more than what was dished my way. I have real battle scars, not self-inflicted ones. You have male and you have female. This is cosmetic surgery. Yahoo. Nice try. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?